What better way to kick off 4th of July weekend than with beautiful views and good company? That's just what the St. Clair County Veterans Department of Affairs had in mind when they invited retired service members along with friends and family aboard the Huron Lady for a special cruise. We had a full boat, so we had you know, a hundred veterans on there and their and their spouses or friends. And along with a lot of smiles, we had a lot of sunshine. So it was a great event and uh, we couldn't have we couldn't have asked for better weather. It was a good opportunity to meet other veterans, to network with other veterans and to see other people that are out there that have experienced the same um, same things that veterans throughout the county have experienced. The relaxing day was made even more stress-free thanks to the Community Foundation of St. Clair County covering the cost of tickets. I'd just like to make sure I thank the Community Foundation of St. Clair County for partnering with us with the Veterans Affairs so we could throw this event for the veterans. We ended up deciding that we wanted to do a cruise for the Huron Ladies because we felt like there would be a lot of interest. Found out pricing for tickets and then like we said with the Community Foundation of St. Clair County, they, they actually uh, covered the cost for that so it was a uh, it was a great collaboration. After boarding the Huron Lady from the dock located on the Black River across from City Flats, the ship set sail into the St. Clair River where the captain pointed out all the unique sights to be seen from this one-of-a-kind vantage point. I really love the cruise. I really did. I love the cruise. I have not been on the ship since never. When we just came out here to enjoy the day and the boat and the water and the cruise was just on point. The, the cruise we went on was just second to none. The camaraderie ship, the fun we had, the crew, everybody involved. It was just a wonderful time and if you missed it, hopefully we'll have another one soon so you can really get to enjoy it. An afternoon on the Huron Lady created the unique opportunity for veterans and their loved ones to make new connections in our community amidst a beautiful backdrop. It was a beautiful day. Chris Smith was there with Gunny, so it completed the whole package through the Veterans Administration. Again, I just give them kudos big time for putting it on. I love working with the veterans community here in Port Huron, and you guys are really doing an awesome job. I think the importance is to uh, have these kind of events. Is there's a a lot of veterans out here that I, I've never even seen. A lot of these guys and women don't even know that you know. There's veterans that may be their next door neighbors. If you missed your chance for the Veterans Cruise, don't worry, there's more fun events planned for the future. So be sure to get connected online to keep up with all the good things going on at the St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs. The best place to go to see, find out more things about the St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs is uh, uh, we have a strong Facebook um, presence right now. So if you just go on Facebook and uh, Look under St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs and uh, it should pop up there and just follow us. And uh, usually we're putting updates on there daily. Thanks to the St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs, veterans along with their friends and family were able to enjoy a beautiful day on the water, reconnecting and appreciating each other's company, all while taking in the sights of the Blue Water area from the Huron Lady. From everyone here at EBW, we thank you for your service and wish you a happy Independence Day. For EBW-TV, I'm Lily Campo.